The RDoS Apollo Data Manager is a standalone application that can reside on any PC desktop. The Data Manager allows an organization's data administrators or managers to connect to an RDoS Apollo server to manage configuration settings, security, roles and users, as well as cataloging data, creating styles, and setting up OGC services. This video will give a simple overview of the RDoS Apollo Data Manager interface and how to connect to an RDoS Apollo server instance. The RDoS Apollo Data Manager is a user-friendly way to interact with one or more RDoS Apollo servers. The interface is broken into sections with each section having its own functions and information display. A quick overview of the interface shows the following. The menu bar includes the global task of system, catalog, window, and help. The toolbar includes a save, copy, paste, and create server connection. The RDoS Apollo Data Manager does not require a user license. Instead, it will only function once connected to a licensed RDoS Apollo server. As previously stated, Data Manager will connect to multiple servers or allow multiple managers to connect to a single RDoS Apollo server. Click the Create Server Connection button on the Data Manager toolbar, which will start the Server Connection Wizard. The following parameters must be entered to connect to an RDoS Apollo instance. A host name, which could be a local host, or your server name or URL. A port number, such as port 80, or port 443, if you're using if your server is configured to use SSL, a username, and a password, and the password will not display, and click Finish. The Explorer panel displays all the servers that Data Manager is connected to, as well as the license level and port used in the connection. It also includes access to the various resources a user can interact with the server. Tools for the Explorer window include adding a resource, crawl a file system, crawl a database, configure a Dropbox, and a refresh button. The map view allows for the display of an aggregate data set or data associated with a service provider against a base map. The graphical representation is done as an OGC WMS. It also has such tools such as turn a base map on or off, fit to world extent, mouse navigation, or zoom using a box. The left view List the active information about data sets, layers, and jobs, where the right view provides information about aggregate and data set properties, thumbnails, and metadata. The entire interface can be configured to whatever working view the user wishes. Tabs can be closed and moved as well as resized or detached and shown on a separate monitor. Selecting the server and clicking the caret next to the server name will expand the different sections used to manage the server. There are four sections. The configuration section shows information about this RDoS Apollo data manager installation. Selecting one of the choices under the configuration will display information or the parameters for that selection in the Properties panel. Some fields in the Properties panel may be locked and not editable, while others may be, such as seen here under the User section of the configuration, where user information including username and password information can be modified. The catalog section shows the contents of the catalog of data for this server. 
Directly inside the catalog node, the root aggregate node contains all the other aggregates in your catalog. Right clicking on an aggregate in the catalog will display different options and commands that can be performed The process section shows a list of spatial models that had been published from an instance of Erdos Imagine to the Erdos Apollo server. These models are used in the geospatial portal application to execute GIS and image processing operations against selected data sets. The services section shows the available individual services and service providers for the server and can include rasters such as WMS or WCS, vectors such as WFS or WFST, as well as OGC map and proxy services. In the left view, we are presented with three tabs. The Jobs tab shows all the tasks or jobs that the Erdos Apollo Data Manager is performing or is scheduled to perform. While a crawler is actively working, the Jobs view displays a message showing how many data sets are being added to the aggregate, skipped because they are already in the aggregate, are rejected because the Erdos Apollo Data Manager is unable to catalog them for different reasons. The Layers tab shows a list of all the aggregates, data sets, and service providers that you want to be able to see in your map view. The data, the data set tab displays the data sets of a highlighted aggregate in the catalog node of the Explorer view. Right clicking on a data set record will open a menu from which op options or commands can be chosen to perform on the select, selected data set, such as show thumbnail, add to map, or show ISO metadata. Selecting a data set in the data sets tab or an aggregate from the catalog will display information about it in the Properties tab. The Properties tab will display different properties or information depending on what is selected. For example, selecting a user from the Configuration panel or section will display the user details. Selecting an aggregate or data set will display the catalog metadata. Some fields in the catalog are editable. Lastly, the metadata tab will display the metadata of an aggregate or data set in an ISO layout. There is also an editor that allows users to change or update information or even input information not originally contained in the original metadata. This has been a short overview of the Erdos Apollo Data Manager application. Check out other e-training videos which will cover some of what you have seen here in greater detail.